All right, we are back. This first impressions of Gran Turismo is going to be broken up into two parts. Uh, there, the the stream crashed. Well, my computer crashed. I think it might have had a little bit of a power surge here too. Um, so this week's been crazy with things going wrong. We've had games freezing. We've had uh, the internet crash during a stream and during Eternal Sonata, and now we've had the, the computer crash or power surge, whatever that was. Um, but we're back up. Hopefully it won't happen again right now. I know that the weather's been it's been raining a ton and flooding in areas, so I think that's probably have something to do with some of the um, the crashes. At least maybe the internet one. So here we go. We should be back live now. Let's continue right where we left off with um, Gran Turismo. We're going to do this first starting and stopping uh, license test. And make sure everything's good though. And hopefully that doesn't happen again. I don't know what that was. So I'm sorry guys. I've had a lot of different issues going on lately on the streams. But we keep going. Alright. Here we go. Starting and stopping. Which is kind of what this stream is like now. Starting and stopping and starting again. <laughs> Trying to play Gran Turismo. All right, so we know. So it wants me to just go in there and stop in a certain radius, I think. stopping? I don't remember where I'm stopping. There. Like that? Fail? Why did I fail? I... Was I not supposed to break until I get into there? Maybe? Wow, we can't even do the most simple test here. I'm just gonna keep my uh, finger on the, the accelerator here until we get over there. So it would be nice to get credits for, for these if we pass them. That would be good. I doubt we're gonna get that though. I think this is just to get the license types. Failed that time too. Dang. So that time I'm going too fast. Before I was trying to break a little bit. Wow, they are messing around with this game. This is a rough start to it. The races and then this. Until I get used to like all the mechanics and the, the physics of the game. Now this time I'm gonna break a little bit sooner. Cause maybe I can't break more than once. Maybe it just has to be that one so it stop. Great now. If you exceed the time limit is 36, maybe that's why I'm failing. It doesn't say anything about stopping and starting. I mean about like, you know, breaking before. I think you have to do it within 36 seconds and stop in there. But I can like, I don't know, we'll see. So we gotta aim for within 36 seconds and stop inside the checkered thing. That means I can probably slow down a few times if I need to. I 
Time's looking good. That should be good. That should be good. There we go. Enter my name. Why? Why do I gotta do this? Oh, Zern. Alright, next session, I guess. Accelerate from the starting point and come to a complete stop within the goal. The car in this test is more powerful than the previous. Alright, so this has to be done in 27 seconds. Same thing, but this car is faster, so we're going to have to apply the brakes sooner. Oh yeah, this car, you can already tell, has better acceleration. Oh crap, wow, you gotta... Wow, you probably gotta stop... Probably gotta apply brakes like right as you hit that 900 millimeter mark there. Hey, what's up, Timothy? You have Jimmy John's. Nice. They have um, they got some subs, right? It's a sub place, and it's zero calories. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> zero calories. What's up, Timothy? So you guys are hungry. One person went to get pizza for their birthday. Now you're getting uh, Jimmy John's. You guys have already made me hungry. Oh, that was perfect. We got it. Fail. Oh, we didn't do it in the right time. Wow. Okay. Oh, we missed it by like less than a second. Um, you just got home from work, so there's that. Oh, well, now you're, you're enjoying your Jimmy John's. I've never had them. But I could go for a sub right now. Really, that sounds good. What did you get? What did you get at Jimmy John's? Doing good now. You got the weekend off. Sweet. Timothy time now. I just had to reboot the stream because my computer crashed or there was a power surge here or something. Even though, like, I try not to leave a lot of things plugged in, even if, like, you know, I have all these systems, but I usually don't plug them in unless I'm using them, so it's weird. I think it might have just been my computer and just acting stupid. So we kind of had to reset back up. Spicy East Coast Italian roast beef and extra peppers because I'm weird. Now that sounds really good, actually. Maybe not the extra pepper part, but... Spicy Italian beef? Damn. Making my mouth water there. So yeah, we're, we're just learning this. I tried a few races. I kept coming in last. And I didn't realize there were these trial things to do, so... Now... Fuck, that was, wow. He went flying beyond there. It has the other meat. So the Italian ones, like it has like bologna, maybe a salami type thing on there. No, the roast beef? No, I don't think the roast beef. Roast beef makes things better, if you ask me. I like, I love roast beef. Like a hot roast beef sandwich is so good when it's dipped in the gravy and then you like, oof, so good. Stop. Oh, he didn't come to a complete stop. Wow, these are tough. Mixing the meats. Now you want Arby's because they have the meats, don't they? <laughs> I've never been to Arby's either. I want to go to like <clears throat> Jersey Mike's or something now. These are tough to do. We got to do it. Man. 
how I was describing roast beef. That's why, because they have they have a hot roast beef sandwich, like dipped in gravy. We used to. My mom used to make some when we were young. She would make like these hot roast beef sandwiches. You buy roast beef and then make a homemade gravy, and then dip it in there and then put it on like a sub roll or something. And it was really good. You just drench it in the gravy. Drench it in there. And the gravy would like soak into like the freaking meat as well. I mean into bread. Man, if only, if only I'd stopped a little bit sooner there. Yeah, really good. Comfort food for sure. If anything, this is, these little trials are like good practice on to learn. Like I said, like the physics of the game. Come on, why didn't it stop? I thought I had it, but it, like it didn't come to a complete stop. That is so hard. I'm good, man. I'm good. But thanks for asking. I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Just, uh, just hungry now. Thanks to you guys. You with your Italian roast beef and Juno went to go pick up a pizza. <laughs> Italian. I mean, um, a New York style pizza because it's in New York. Yeah, we're, uh, we're just playing some branches. We'll do some other PS1 stuff today, maybe too. Got it. There we go. Whew. Give me that prize. All right. Session three. Those are the easy ones, too. I can't imagine how bad I'm going to do with these ones now. <laughs> Accelerate away from the starting point down the straightaway. Turn on the first corner and then go through the finishing gate on top of the hill. Try and keep a smooth racing line. You will fail immediately if you leave the track. The test car is a Honda DeSoul. That's like the one I was using in the races, kind of. All right, so just stay on the track, basically. There's no time limit, huh? I could do that, right? I could stay on the track. Go as slow as possible. Fail? Wait a minute. Fail? How did I fail? Do I have to stop within the checkered line on this one, too? It doesn't even tell me that one. Then if I'm still hungry, I still got two cold pieces of breakfast pizza I can reheat just in case you need to get more hungry. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. Boy, I'm going to need to get something to eat at some point during this stream now. Don't have much here. That's another thing. I, gotta go, I really need to go food shopping again. But I'm living off like ramen right now. And some sandwiches. Though I think I have... I could probably make grilled cheese, yeah. There. Fail? What? Why? Why am I failing? Is it the time limit? The time limit's 30, so I, I just saw that. Maybe it's the time limit that I'm failing. I'm like, I didn't leave the track, and I stopped in there. It's got to be the time limit. Unless I have to stay within like a specific lane, that would be really crazy. 
Oh yeah, it's definitely the time. I'm not even gonna make it this time either. Ooh, this one's actually pretty tough. You started some inter intermittent fasting. You haven't eaten since yesterday. Oh my goodness, then you gotta be starving. Time to chow down. This is gonna be tough to do in the time limit and stop there. Like I can't slow down on this turn at all. I have to like take this turn really fast. Go, 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 go. Wow. These are... These are just not easy. These are like... Like, these are so picky, these, uh, these trial things. So like, you gotta nail everything perfectly. Otherwise, nope. Like you have to get every little aspect of it just right. Every turn, every amount of speed. You can't break too early, you can't. That's already a fail right there. I never got my license in the old games in this series? What do you mean? What all this is the first one. Is there one before is there one before this one? I thought that this was the first one, maybe it's not. This is my first time ever playing a Gran Turismo game. Right. A little skid action. There we go. Skid row. Still not going to make it, I don't think. Man, how fast do you have to do that? And you got to stop in the checkered line? Whew. Have I passed this license test before? No, not, no, not in this one. This is my first time doing the license test and everything. I did a few races before this, and some like warm-up laps and stuff, so like a, just a regular race, and I kept finishing sixth, because <laughs> I have a crappy car to begin with. See that right there, like that little juke I did, like slowed me down enough to not make it. How do you do this? So this is the first license I'm going for as well. Whatever that unlocks, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way I gotta do this without breaking at all, but... Still, I can't do it. I can't, I can't, you can't do this within 30 seconds. And they pick your car for you. It's not like I can pick a better car that can go faster here. Because that's the only way I'm going to do this. If I get a better car. But they, they said they handpicked these cars, so you have to do it. The game's not giving me tips on how to like take better turns either. It just says, take the turn, do it within the time limit. Trying here. 
I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh, I did it. Barely. Oh my gosh. All right. Getting your license is not easy in this or the second game, but he admittedly haven't done this. The first game pretty much mainly played two and four. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this this is not easy at all. Like the races were tough, but I just need like better car, I think. And I might be able to at least pass a few people. Like the first couple races we tried was just the same race. I was just trying to finish like fifth out of the six, but like I, I wasn't getting killed. I was just, just behind like the pack every time. I just couldn't quite pass them because the car is just too bad. I can't, I can't, um, don't get the acceleration that they get. And then go through the first finish again top of the hill. Try and keep smooth racing line. You will fail me and leave, leave the track. So this one's 26 seconds. So is it like the same thing I just did, but I have to do it four seconds faster? There's no way. This car seems like it's a little bit better on the acceleration. Oh my gosh, really? I don't know. I really don't know how to take these corners like as fast as they want me to. So the handbrake slows you down too much. The regular brake makes you peel out like that, so. Oh, I just missed it, just missed it. I don't think I have to stop in the checkers. I just have to get there in time, so that's Make, I think it'll make it a little bit easier to go for these. I was close there. I was very close. Shit. Come on. Ugh. Let's drift off the road. hard it is hard this is definitely simulation style here oh we can do different views that's kind of cool oh see when I try to break too much you just doesn't really tell you how to take turns it just says take the turns you know there's got to be like a trick to this do I tap the brake maybe so we're not doing good here like, do I slow down now it still peels out what the hell Maybe I don't break at all and just take off the acceleration. And... I was yet to be so perfect to get these right. I think you need to get food and get good. <laughs> I think both apply. <laughs> You're definitely gonna need to get good. It's it's just like it's one of these things that's not a pick up and play type of thing. It's like you need to keep keep doing it, keep doing it, keep failing until you eventually get it. So, think, oh man, this car sucks at turning. Absolutely sucks. 
Like it just takes everything so wide. The car in the last session was, I think, better at turning. This one is terrible. This one's a little bit faster, but man, you can't take a tight turn with this at all. You just get thrown right off the road. See, like every time now, I'm just going right off the road there. <laughs> we need to get food and get good. I think I think that's I think that's fair. I am attempting to take this turn 100 miles per hour. Yeah, I mean I I kind of have to though because I I need to make the time. That's why I'm like it's pressure. So we get up to around 100. There we go. We slow down a bit. Drift a bit. Speed. Hang on. We might have it. Ah, oh, we just missed it. Okay, that was better. There we go. I just needed to not break too much there. I think it took it around 60 there. Alright. You can't turn that fast already. <laughs> this isn't Forza Horizon. Ah, uh, see, it still took a sharp turn. Damn it. Yeah, well, hopefully we can get it one of these times. We're getting better, though. We're getting better. At least we're staying on the road. It's the real driving simulator, bro. Yeah. This is the real deal. Get good, bruh. Stop getting pwned. Right. Man, see, I can't get around this turn fast enough. Come on. It's like I'm trying to push the car myself to go faster. I just can't. I just can't. Man. Again, you got to get this just right. You slow down too much, you've already lost. You have to brake at just the right speed and then accelerate again at just the right speed. And take these turns good. You don't need to stop at the end of this one now. So that's why I'm holding the acceleration at the end. Thank goodness you just need to cross the finish line in under 26 seconds. That was a good turn. That was a good drift. That was a good drift. Coming with some speed. This has got to be it. What did we get? Oh, come on. I couldn't possibly do it any better than that. Come on, game. This really wants you to be an expert already. Man. I thought I had it there. I took that turn really well. Drifted into acceleration, so I had speed going uphill. Not bad again, but just not enough. We're so close on these attempts. Oh, I can't do manual transmission either, guys. I probably never will because I don't. I don't even know how to drive that one. I've never driven a stick before in real life, honestly. I've always had the automatic. Break now. Come on. Yes, there we go. There we go. And we did it. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. You get better. All right, next session. We still got to... That's only halfway. <laughs> There's a glitch every few seconds. A weird glitchy stutter. Oh, really? Let me look. Maybe it's through OBS. 
because I'm not seeing it on my TV. Usually if like the Elgato or the converter is having trouble reading the uh, component inputs, it might like blink a few times. Sometimes it happens on my N64, but I haven't seen one. Maybe it's on OBS or maybe it's a Twitch thing. I don't know. I'm not seeing any glitching on my OBS right now either. It's the whole stream. Is it still doing it now? Because I literally, I don't see anything on my end, so that's really strange. I don't see anything, at least on OBS or on my TV. Maybe if I like try and watch the stream, I might see it. Let me see. Did it just, did the stream reset itself? Man, we're getting all sorts of problems lately. It just doesn't. Oh no, it didn't reset, it's all right. And now I'm watching my stream via my phone on Twitch to see if it's doing anything. I don't see anything right at the moment. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe try refreshing and seeing if it's... That'll fix it, I'm not sure. Let me keep a smooth racing line. You will fail me if you leave the track. So now I need to do this in 25 seconds. Each one just faster. Let me know if it keeps up. I don't know. Like, I'm not seeing anything on my end. Because I wouldn't... If there's anything I could do to fix it, I don't know. Maybe it's on your end. I don't know. I mean, it could be. Again, it could be like a Twitch thing glitching out that I'm not seeing. Oh, we did that one on the first try. <laughs> the other ones were so hard. That one we just, boom, there we go. Because my PC did just crash a few moments ago, but I think that was just either power surge or just the computer just crashing, which it's done before. All right, on to session six. So three away from getting our license, right? Whatever license this is, I think it's the last license. When you go to 720p source, it does it, but when I'm on just 720p, it doesn't seem like it's doing it at all. Weird, huh? What the heck? That is really weird. So we have to do this within 28 seconds, and it's going to be probably more than one corner. Look at that, hugging the road there. Where's the finish? Oh, we were close. That wasn't, wasn't a bad, that wasn't a bad try. The king is back. Yeah, or Aragorn? What are you talking about? It seems fine now in this setting. Okay. As long as it's working now for you, that's, I don't know, that's weird if it, like, the settings would change it for you. Dalton says the king is back, Aragorn. Dalton says, oh, he's referring to himself, of course. Yeah, look at us hugging the road here. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is good. We got it now. We got it. 
That was classic right there. Hey, we're getting better. Whatever this car is, it's Mitsubishi. I like this car. I like it a lot. It's the best car we've used yet. It's, it gets good acceleration speed. It's turning is more responsive. All right, next session. What do you mean, of course? I'm just talking about how modest you are. That's all. The King of Gondor has arrived. <laughs> uh, leave the chat. Uh, so this one has to be done in 27 seconds. Crap. With this freaking car. Whatever this is. Is this the same car? Or is it a different one? Ooh, we didn't, we didn't quite go off the road there. Yeah, see, this car sucks more at turning. So this is the same track. I have to do it in 27. Come on, 24, 25, 26, 27. Ugh. All right. That's gonna, this is going to be a tough one to do because this car isn't as good. To do it with a worse car in less time is, is definitely a challenge. But I am liking this game a lot. It's, uh, I said for the time, my goodness, this must have been mind blowing for people to see a racing simulator like this. Shoot. I mean, because at the time it was mostly, you know, arcade racers obviously were a big thing. Already, you know, arcade racers were like the norm, but there weren't as many of these realistic simulation style racers. Alright, we got it this time. That was good. That was really good. There we go. Um. And then when Xbox came out, it was like, okay, we need an answer to Gran Turismo. And they went with their Forza games. Okay, last one. Eight B-Class License Final Test. This is it. This is for all the marbles. All right. Uh, this is a time trial on the full course on high-speed ring. Start from the start to finish time. Complete one lap of the course. Uh, time limit is 1 minute 22 seconds. Okay. So it doesn't say anything about going off course or any of that crap. Just get, get to the finish line in 1 minute 20, 22 or less. We don't need to slow down here yet. I also have a NASCAR game on um, on PS One. Shoot! What? Oh, I, I guess I can't. I can't go off course. All right. That's not uh, NASCAR two thousand and one. I think it is. It's one I used to actually have, or rent at least on N64. I remember it being pretty fun. I used to like NASCAR games for whatever reason. I'm not really into NASCAR, but... Um, you know, it's, it's definitely an impressive sport. What they do. It's dangerous, too. My grandfather was a NASCAR driver for a hot minute. And he got in a bad accident, and then my grandmother was like, "Nope, you're you're done." I don't know if he was like fully pro or if it was like one of the minor things. I'm not sure. But he was like he raced NASCAR style. So far, so good. 
Minute 22, huh? Shoot. Almost blew it right there. That might have ruined our chances at this now. Where's the finish line? Oh, it's up there. Wow. Missed about like three seconds. Probably keep writing my ukulele song from yesterday. I'll try to stick around while I am though. Why I am though, here. Yeah, no, write write music, man. That's that's great. Do that. Ruined his fun real quick. What? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it sucked that he got in that, that accident. I mean, I was, I don't think I was born yet, but, you know, he, he had, had done that. So some of my family back in Pennsylvania is really in to NASCAR. Uh, it's, you know, it's a popular sport over there. So that's kind of why I was into it when I was younger. I would buy some of the video games or play some of the games. I used to like Rusty Wallace a lot. Um... So I wouldn't mind. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing some NASCAR games too. Okay, not a sport I follow anymore at all, but it's definitely one that takes a lot of talent. I wouldn't do it. I'd be too scared to do NASCAR. I mean, these guys have to be so perfect. You know, with other guys racing right beside you, going 120 miles per hour. Slightest little touch could bump your car off to be, you know, into a wall. Do like go flying into the to the grass, cause a car pile up too. If there's a lot of other cars around, dangerous. All right, come on, come on, come on. This is a tough one because this is this is a pretty long. Laugh and this car isn't the fastest. Oh, we were very close. We raced well, though. Raced well. You weren't born yet, so this must have been the 1970s. No, it was like the 19, 19, like 30s, you know, not quite born. I was born in the 40s, so 18 40s, 18, yeah. Old as your, old as dust, you know, well, dust, dust and I go way back. Yeah, I think Dust looks pretty good for his age. I mean, I just, I don't know if we can do much better than I just did on that last try. We still missed it by a couple seconds. See, this track to me feels kind of like an NASCAR track with some of the, the turns there. You got the crowd. Well, that was a really good drift. Wow. Right, I think we, if we can keep this momentum going, we might just get it here. Don't go off the track, no. Regain control here. Ah, I think we're going to miss it again. Just by a second or two. I don't even know how. Oh, no, we got it. Oh, yeah, we definitely we got it by two seconds. Well, we did a really good. We got our B license. Hey. Here we go. Gran Turismo. Yeah, I'm trying Gran Turismo, man. Welcome in, multi-apples. 
Gran Turismo 2 is the way to go. Is that one's better than this one? Is that also on PS1 or is that on PS2? Hey, look at that. Look at that. We did it. We're going to play some other PS1 stuff today, I think. Um, but I wanted to get a good look at Gran Turismo 1 since I never played it. PS1. Oh, cool. All right. All right, let's save it now after that. We might do some more backyard soccer today of our season. Um, I don't know if we'll switch systems later or not. If you guys want to see some Lilo and Stitch, we could play some more of that. I mean, I've already played through that. Uh, here's probably the worst PS game, I, PS1 game I own. Well, yeah, I mean, it's probably worse than Peter Pan. Peter Pan's bad, but Independence Day... To describe this game's assness, it's very ass, as uh, AVGN would say. It is. <laughs> Two dollars? What? When did you buy it? Damn, that's really good. Yeah, I mean, this one, but I think this one cost me seven bucks complete. Seven dollars at a game shop like a year ago. Maybe not even a year ago, but something like that. Um... I have Treasure Planet, which I haven't played before. I heard this one's kind of good. I haven't even seen the movie either, of course. <laughs> when have I ever seen the movie? Well, with Lilo and Stitch, at least I've seen that movie. That's a good one. And we also have Tiger Woods, the very first Tiger Woods game here. I have yet, I've never played this one. That's the very first Tiger Woods game that was ever made. Figured, why not? That's a classic, right? Put that into the PS1 library. It's a milestone game. That's what, I mean, th this is what made golfing, golf games popular, right? It was the Tiger Woods series. Over a decade ago, it sold uh, for that much because it was so common. Yeah, like common games still to this day can be pretty, pretty cheap. Only ones you available to you are on the PS2. You, do you have a PS2, Multi Apples? Do you have a PS2, man? Alright, this should be saved. Yeah, so you can play PS1 games on the PS2. That's something I didn't utilize with my PS2 when I first got it, because I didn't know. You know, when I got my PS2 back in the day, I was like, ah, oh, I just wanted to play some PS2. Like, backwards compatibility really wasn't even a thing to me yet. Like, like my 360 I didn't play backwards compatibility with either. So if you have a PS2 multi apples you can buy, like, any PS1 game. And uh, it'll work in there. So that's what I do. I play all my PS1 stuff on my PS2 because I don't even have a PS1 either. I've never owned a PS1. But I have about, like, like 20 PS1 games now. With every model PS2, yeah, which is awesome, really awesome. So they did really good with the backwards compatibility. And that's why I want to get the fat PS3, because that's backwards compatible with, you said, like PS1 and PS2, which is pretty sick. War of the Monsters, that's one of your favorite ones. I think I've seen that on your channel before. It looks like good fun. Um, yeah, I have a ton of PS2 games, but I don't have a ton of PS1 games yet. I've been... Slowly adding some in, cheap ones, anyways. Um, but you know, Final Fantasy IX was amazing. This Lilo and Stitch game is pretty good. Of course, I got Gran Turismo. This has been good so far. It's been hard, but we didn't get we didn't get more money, did we? Like for instance, if I go here, no, we didn't gain any more money, so we still suck at. Racing. Right? We still suck at racing. Let's let's just see. After those that license, let's see if we're any better at doing this. Let's just see. Even though we're still using this crappy car, so I doubt it. 
where we're going to switch games pretty soon. Um, so first, we will we will play more Gran Turismo as well, guys. We will play more of this. Um, I don't know, like, I guess maybe you have to do all the Gran Turismo League to to beat the game or something. Who knows? Qualify. Oh wow, nice. 60 bucks for that one. So it's only certain model fat PS3s, okay. But they can be pricey now because of how they're backwards compatible with everything. Hmm. You're more of an Xbox guy, but the first home console I got was PS2, and I have to admit that PS2 is arguably the greatest console of all time. I mean, the PS2 has a tremendous library, yeah. It's a great console, I love it. So, I am more of an Xbox guy myself, too, only because that's what I grew up playing, not because I have anything against PlayStation, it's just I always had the Xboxes. But yeah, man, I love my PS2. Um... Great stuff. I mean, I think I still like my Dreamcast and my N64 is my favorite consoles just because of the the funness of the games and just I don't know. There's something about those systems that I love. And the PS2 is probably be a top PlayStation console to top for me if I get any of the other ones. Yeah, don't, yeah, just you were just more of an Xbox guy. Yeah, see, some people like are just like pro Xbox, pro PlayStation, or pro Nintendo, and then that, that's it. And if that's what they want to do, that's fine. But I think like if you're like so hell bent on being a fanboy of like one of the consoles, you're really missing out on some great consoles and games just because you don't want to, don't, don't want you know an Xbox because you're a PlayStation boy person or vice versa, you know. I forgot this track already. See, I'm still going to come in last in the qualifying. Like me, I'm interested in pretty much any console, really. Like, even, like, some oddball ones, like... Vectrex and FM Towns Marty, you know, systems like that that I would love to try someday. Yeah, we still finished. Like, everybody else did it in 45 seconds. Like, come on. How do they expect me to win these? Like, you really, really are going to suck at the races early on in this game. Oh wow, 200 plus for a working one maybe? For the um, PS3, the backwards compatible ones, wow. Like if I'm gonna get one of those PS3s, then I'm probably gonna buy some kind of bundle, you know? A bundle that comes with like two working controllers, maybe a couple games that are complete, just to get my PS3 library kicked off. I do have a couple PS3 games, but nothing, nothing too crazy. One of them is like, the Beatles rock band game <laughs> that I have. I don't have any of the accessories of it. And I have, uh, I have Prince of Persia though on PS3. NBA Live 09. I have a soccer game as well. See, we're still gonna finish dead last. This is. <laughs> But at least I'm better. Like, I think that training for the license definitely made me better at the game. Because, look, I'm taking turns. Problem is, it's just this car. See, look, they just... They, they can pass me off-road. That's crazy. He's, like, got the same car as me. How is he accelerating so much faster? 
off-road. Get out of my way! Damn it, didn't take that turn very well. Come on, let's hold fifth. Be our best finish yet. A little drift action there. So if he passes me at this last turn again off road. Yeah, I'll take that as a win. <laughs> Fifth place. All right, let's go. Improvement. You'd like to get a PS5 uh, eventually for the old MLB The Show franchise, Gran Turismo, and other PlayStation exclusives. Yeah, same here. I really want a PS5, man. Um, I want a PS4 even still. Um, I want to play games like Days Gone and Marvel Spider-Man and yeah, all the yeah the new Gran Turismo and Ratchet and Clank and. Death Stranding, if I didn't say that one already. Um, there's definitely good stuff on there. Oh, so your your PS3 works well other than the Blu-ray drive, all right? That could be replaced, though, pretty easily, but at least the games work. Um, yeah, like, my Xbox One, it's a shame, it, it really can't read discs anymore, even DVDs or anything. Like, it just... So the system turns on fine, and it runs the, you know, the apps, it'll play digital games, it's, it's perfect with that still. It's just that when I put a physical disc in, it does not read it, and sometimes they even get stuck in there. So I don't even put anything in there anymore. Um, I don't know how much that would cost to get that fixed, but... Could be pretty pricey maybe cheaper than a getting another system because i'd have to take my hard drive and put it into another system or something i don't know he only has difficulties with the ps2 games well that sucks my ps2 has difficulty with some ps2 games and some ps1 games i have like i can't run half-life in my ps2 anymore but um a viewer told me that I can, it might just be the laser, it might be too, too close or too far or something. I don't know how to fix that though. It takes like 10 tries to boot it up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 360 is on its way out. Surprised you've had it for 12 years now. I've only had to replace the power cord. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. My 360 I've had for a while too, but it's my second model 360. Uh, the original model I had, and like the launch model, uh, died on me at the Red Rings uh, eventually. But this one I've had for a while and it does give me some problems. It will... The hard drive will come loose. Um, it can be loud. The power box can be loud. And it will freeze time to time. But... For the most part, it's still kicking and still reading pretty much any game, uh, mostly. But yeah, I mean, eventually these things need to get like refurbished or replaced. Every you know, when you use them a lot, like I mean, we've talked about this before, it's like they wear and tear. You know, it's just the way it goes. You know, the systems aren't going to work forever. All right, now we got 200 credits for that one. Brilliant. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, some of my systems do have some problems, and as I said, my original Xbox doesn't work at all anymore. It will turn on and just, like, do, like, an error screen. It won't play any games or anything, so my original Xbox is useless. Even my local game shop was like, yeah, we can't fix that, so... It would literally have to be, like, sent into, like, Microsoft themselves, probably. And even then, like, why would they care to fix, like, an old Xbox? So, I'd have to get a new one. And my GameCube that I have is not fully functional either. It has uh, disk error reads uh, frequently. So, I don't, I don't use that for my GameCube games either. Just play those on my Wii. Sucks, but, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, 
luckily I have a lot of backwards compatible stuff, so it's it's helping us keep the library open. Um, memory card battle, time trials. So with that license, maybe we can do time trials. I don't know. I'll try one of these. I'm generally surprised that, that my 360 still functions as much as it does and my, uh, my N64, my Wii, this is my Wii's never given me any problems. Uses a lot, I mean my 360 I've used a ton, my Xbox One I used a lot, so that's makes sense that it's kind of like having trouble reading games now because it's, that's one I, I've, I've used so much, probably used that as much as any system ever. That and probably my... I say the systems I've used the most in my lifetime are Xbox One and Xbox 360 without a doubt. And besides that, I don't know. I don't know. The old GameCube, maybe my N64. Dreamcast. A lot, yeah, but not like a ton. Gran Turismo seems to be so much better than this one. Yeah, they probably like added a lot better stuff and maybe it's better controls and all that. I mean, this one's fine so far, it definitely is, but... But I'm sure, like, you know, that's the thing. When they make a sequel to something, they have a chance to fix anything that wasn't good about the previous one. I mean, you could tell, like, this is a good starting point for the Gran Turismo series, I'd say. This is good. All right. So we'll do this time trial. I don't know if we get anything for this, or these are just... Just do them and get timed. Like, I would like to get credits for doing this. It's not even giving me a time to beat, so... That's a tough turn there. This is awful. Forty-five seconds. That's like what the computer gets in a lap. I'm not even close to that yet. Fifty-three. Jeez. Oh man, what's going on? I hate this car too. I can't wait to get like another. Whatever that Mitsubishi one was, I was driving. I want to get that one. Music's hitting hard though. We're not getting any kind of copyright strikes or anything. Oh, that was a really good turn. Okay, so... We are almost on par with the computer in that second lap. We've definitely gotten better. We've definitely gotten better. I don't want to replay. Okay, there we go. New record. There we go. So you don't get. You don't get like anything for that either. You like you only get credits from racing, not even like getting a license or doing time trials. You just. Well, what's the point of doing these time trials then? Just to get better at the tracks, maybe. GT League. Oh, I can see. Alright, so GT League is basically the big events, I think, right? So we can do this one because we have... These are the Grand Prix. Oh, cool. Alright, so we're going to try and save up for a better car before we enter those. Because the first one's B license, so we can try and get our other licenses afterwards. So we could try some of these other tracks eventually as well. And see if um well, we've done the high speed ring before. 
Um, let's see how we get on. So yeah, we're, we're definitely going to come back to this game. Because we don't have a ton of series going on right now. And like, plans have changed a bit. With like, things like God of War 2 not working right now. So, um, yeah, we'll play more of this for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed Gran Turismo. First look at it. I'm enjoying it. I'm getting into it more. Getting better. Which is the key. But we'll come back to this and play it again. And, um... We'll try to, um... Buy some better cars. And then enter one of the GT leagues eventually. When we think we're ready for it. I don't think we're gonna, like, beat this game. But I just wanna, you know, get as far as we can. I don't even know how to really beat the game. Do, 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 do. So what are we gonna put in next, guys? What are we gonna do? Backyard soccer? Just so I know, just so I know. If you end up enjoying this game, I think you would freaking love GT2. Yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, I'm already liking this one, so. It is a steep learning curve so far, though. It's not easy to get the hang of. But um, as you guys see, I'm improving slightly. I think going after those licenses really does force you to to get better at the game. But oh, we gotta still get a, get better cars though. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for thanks for watching everybody.